Hey guys, what's up? Are you in the market for a new loose bait cast reel or just a bait cast reel in general? Not really sure what's best for you? Well, I've worked with loose for seven years, so I'm very familiar with the, with the components they put into their reels. So in today's video, I'm gonna help you decide what reel's best for you. All right, hope you guys are doing well. It's good to see you again. Um, this whole coronavirus thing is a little crazy. It's got us all locked inside. Um, I went for a bike ride the other day. I feel like Rick Grimes in season one of uh, Walking Dead where he's riding, the, I think it's season one, he's rock, riding his horse into downtown Atlanta, I believe, or a city. There's just nobody around. And I feel like on my bike, you know, I was Rick Grimes just kind of riding in, trying to figure out where everybody is and why it's so quiet. And like the first couple people I see it's like they're like zombies I'm like distancing myself from them when I typically I wouldn't ever do that which is really weird so it's just strange times but anyways I wanted to get into lose reels and kind of break it break down um, how I use them and a little bit of information about them if you're not familiar I'm very familiar like I said worked with them for seven years now so um, we're just gonna get right into it. Oh, also, I'm gonna break this into a two-part series So it's not so long. I'm gonna start with the SLP reels today and then do LFS and BB ones um, uh, Coming soon. So that so the SLP that I'm talking about today um, They that means super low profile and that's what they kind of label um, These reels that they're on each reel SLP So kind of get the different frames is if you're shopping through their site You can kind of see the SLPs LFSs and BB ones. So SLPs, and these are the reels that I'm primarily use. There's more than this, but um, and these are kind of a, a little bit of a pretty much a high the highest end you can get, and then the lowest end. So the highest end reel they have is the is the Pro Ti. Um, it's a purple accented reel, aluminum frame, and it's got titanium side plates. So it's a very beefy reel. They got. All these newer reels have a P2 pinion in them, which is basically a bigger, thicker pinion gear. And, and what that does is um, it just provides more strength on your cranking and the crankshaft basically of the reel. Um, letting and also allows it to be kind of a smoother and easier casting reel. So that all the new reels and some of the old ones they've re retooled and put the P2 pinion in it, which is a bigger gear basically. Um, so with the SLP, you get more of a Camaro type of front, a pointed front, and it's, it's a smaller, um, uh, spools in most of these and the actual line guide, the line guide is closer to the spool, which is going to give you more accurate, um, casting. So all, all these, these type of reels, these SLPs I use for the most part for target casting, a lot of my square bills, um, Swim jigs, chatterbaits, all that kind of thing. I, I, it, anything I want to put on something, I, I for sure want it on one of these SLP reels. Um, so for the Pro Ti, uh, it's got all the bells and whistles. If you haven't heard, they have these cool little feature called the Speed Keeper that flips up and actually holds your bait onto um, the reel itself, and then that that flips back down. They also have a speed dial, which is it, you basically can set what line you have on your reel so you don't forget. Um, but this reel is strong. You're not going to break it. Um, great drag. I think it's got a carbon fiber drag on it. Um, if that's in your budget, you can get the reel and you're getting the best of the best. This reel is going to last you for a long time. Um, the second reel I have is the Hyper Mag, and this is one of my favorite reels. Um, it's not as strong as the, the Pro Ti, but it's lighter. It's uh, I think it's like a five, five four or something like that. It's pretty light, um, but it it's got pretty much everything that this one has for the most part. It's got the speed keeper, the speed dial, um, the good um, uh, adjustable centrifugal braking system on the inside as well. Um, so yeah, it's just a good reel. Um, probably one of my favorites, if not the favorite. And a reel that came out with this year is the Custom Light, and it is the lightest reel they've ever made. It is 4.9 ounces, so it is, it feels like a toy, honestly, in your hand. It feels like one of the, a plastic toy, but it is also a very good reel. It's got a little bit different of a frame. 
Um, it's still the SLP, but they've changed it. Um, it's more of a squared front, less of the, the Camaro pointy front. Um, so, uh, but yeah, it's a very light reel. Um, it doesn't have the speed keeper on it. It does have the speed dial. It does have the really good brakes on it. So we can pop that open there. This one's a little different. But as you can see, you can you got all those shoes again, pins you can play with. These, the higher end ones, actually, I don't mess with as much as uh, the lower end, actually, to get to get more distance out of my cast. My probably my favorite reel for price and just because kind of does everything I want it to do is the custom reel. This retails for 180, so it's a little bit more affordable. Yeah, you're getting still getting up there, but you're not in the three 350 range. And you can, you know, if that's more in your ballpark like it is mine, you're getting all, the, for the most part, the same things. You're getting um, the good wind knobs, the speed keeper, speed dial, um, aluminum frame reel. So you're getting strong, a strong frame reel. And so basically with the aluminum frame is it's not going to torque um, over time like a graphite reel will. The, the aluminum is going to be a stronger and kind of stand the test of time type of reel. And um, so the, the braking system on this is the, should be the multi-setting, I believe. So you can adjust it um, externally and internally, which I mess with these a lot more. Um, pop this one off. You have a little bit simpler. You just can pop the brakes in or out. Really lets you dial your cast and then you cast a lot further. I do play with those a lot more, but yeah, this is just one of my favorite reels because of the price. Um, you know, these reels, all these reels is super low profile. Very pommable, just all around great reels. Good drag on this, still a carbon fiber drag. There's a lot of other reels I use, but for the most part, these are the main ones. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss part two where I go over the BB1 and the LFS reels. Um, for now, hit that like button and check out one of our other videos on catch you next time. Stay safe out there.